Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is cold. <laughs> I've got my Ugg slip, oh hang on, you can't see that. I've got my Ugg slippers on. Um, I'm all rugged up, doors and windows are closed and the weather is definitely, definitely, definitely cooling down here. Um, it's been raining all night, it's raining today. I've got a nice, um, cozy candle lit. I've made myself a cup of tea, I'm all rugged up and I'm about to pull my slow cooker out for the first time this year. And I thought, why not? make a video of the slow cooker recipes that I do over the next couple of weeks. Now, the recipe I'm doing today, I'm doing because I want to get a whole lot of vitamins and turmeric into our bodies as it cools down, just to kind of like fight off flu season. Um, and all of the recipes I do um, over the next couple of days or next, probably the next couple of weeks in my slow cooker, um, really have a focus on being nutrient rich, um, obviously clean, no additives, no preservatives, but mostly just to keep us healthy as the temperature drops and as the flu starts to float around in the air. So, oh, that's good tea. So today I am going to do, I've got my sweet potato and some vegetables out. Today I am going to do, like I said, um, a turmeric, sweet potato kind of ginger um, a really nice thick soup um, I'm gonna put that in the slow cooker all day today and then blitz it at the end to serve it um, and then yeah some of the recipes will be vegetarian <laughs> some of the vegeta some of the recipes will be um, vegetarian like today's um, others you know will be things like chili and stuff like that so Let's get cooking today and I'll take you along over kind of how I use, uh, yeah, use my slow cooker as the weather cools down. This is the slow cooker I have. It's a teaspoon for my tea. Um, it's a Russell Hobbs one. It's nice and big. Um, I will link it below because I got it off Amazon. So I'll pop it, I'll pop the link below for you if you wanted to grab this one. soup is done it's beautiful and thick I added the coconut milk and apple cider vinegar um, after it had finished cooking and just before I blended it so I've got two big containers so I'm going to send one over to grandma and granddad with Izzy when she goes over on Thursday but it is delicious Another day, another slow cooker. I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Aaron is out tonight, so it's just me um, and Izzy. I'm gonna make her dinner tonight, but I know I'm working all day today at my laptop and I know that when it gets to the evening, I'm not gonna feel like making a whole big healthy meal for myself as well as cooking for her. So I'm gonna pop the slow cooker on. Um, just with the chicken breast that I've got there, I'm gonna do like a honey, garlic, ginger, soy kind of marinade pop it in the slow cooker cook it until this evening and then when it's ready i'll shred it up with a fork and i'm just going to pop it with some greens and some rice super super easy um so yeah like i said short and sweet i'll show you how i do this one
so I added um, a little bit of corn flour just to thicken the liquid up and I've started to shred the chicken with a fork but that's all done now so I'm going to take that out um, and let it cool and then pop it in the fridge for tonight's dinner. Do you want to help me do the salt and pepper? Can you do the pepper? Good job. Give it a little twist. Good chef. That's it. Give it a good twist. Beautiful work. Hi guys. Hi guys. A little update on my teriyaki chicken breast. Um, Aaron is going to be having some, so I've cooked some rice. Oh, you're coming up. With Izzy. Yeah, cooked some rice with Izzy. Izzy did the rice, turned the rice cooker on, didn't you? And I've just put some pumpkin in the oven, and I'm going to cook um, a whole lot of broccoli as well, just to bulk it out. So we're going to have slow cooker chicken, that slow cooker chicken with rice, pumpkin and broccoli. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll see you in my next recipe because daddy's out so it's you and me tonight kiddo isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to do a hair mask and have a little little pom pom bath and, and have a bit of a play so I'll see you in the next, the next recipe. Night guys. Say night. Night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty you guys, it's not a pretty dinner, but it needed to be quick and easy tonight because I'm at home alone with Izzy, so I've got the chicken that I prepared earlier, I just put some rice in the rice cooker, I cooked some pumpkin to bulk it up and some broccoli because Aaron is going to have dinner when he gets home, so that is slow cooker honey ginger soy chicken. It is delish, even if she ain't pretty. Night guys. Good morning everyone. Another day, another slow cooker recipe. Um, I just wanted to jump on and say good morning. Today we're going to be making just a really easy beef stew. Um, I've got a heap on today, Aaron's got a heap on today, and we've got plans um, early this evening. So I want it to be in the slow cooker ready for when we get home. So let's get cooking. Good morning and um, yeah, beef stew, let's go. morning everyone another day another slow cooker um, we have a beautiful organic butcher just up the road from our house so I've just got my keys and I've popped out to grab some meat I didn't take anything out of the freezer um, and I want to do a roast well I guess a slow cooker whole chicken um, so I'm gonna pop up to the butcher see what they have hopefully they have a chicken grab one and um, yeah we'll go home and pop that on together Aaron's at football tonight um, so it's just Izzy and I and I do like to have kind of dinner done so that her and I can just 
smush on the sofa and hang out and I don't have to be in the kitchen and leave her alone with a screen. So let's go. No, that's it. Thank you so much. chicken into the slow cooker, pulled the butter over it, squeezed half the lemon, half the lemon and then popped um, a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of sweet paprika and half a teaspoon of garlic powder with salt and pepper. Um, and I'm just going to let that sit now until I eat it this evening, but I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Honestly, before I go, I've made this recipe before. This is the second time I've made it. And the first time I made it, I didn't record it. And I wish I'd had, um, but I'm doing it. I mean, of course I was gonna have it again. It's the best whole chicken I've ever made. Um, and I've roasted a few in the oven, um, but this is just so succulent and it's so beautiful. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. But honestly, if, if I was gonna cook one recipe from this video, it would be this one. It is so delicious. So. I'm going to go run my errands and I'll come Good back. evening, everyone. I look a little bit disheveled. I've just been out for a um, long walk with Izzy and Rosie and she has, Izzy has fallen asleep actually. So I've just popped her into bed. Who knows? It's 10 past six. Who knows whether she'll wake up or whether she'll sleep through now. But I just wanted to show you the chicken. So as you can see, it's cooked through and then the butter has kind of gone down to the top and made this beautiful broth down the bottom here. Um... I took the chicken out last time I did. I'm going to do the same again. Take the chicken out, pop this broth on the stove with a little bit of um, mingled chicken gravy mix. And I'm just going to reduce it down and make a gravy for the chicken. But that is done. Yum, yum. So I'm going to sign this video off here. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Like this video. Um, I'd love to have you on my channel. I appreciate every follower. Thank you so much for your support if you're watching till the end. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. All right, have a lovely week. Night. Oh,